Hey everybody, it's Ashley with Soap Factor Soaps, and I thought I would do a quick video about some samples of fragrance oils that I got at the Lone Star Soaping Seminar that I just went to this past June. It was my first time going to seminar, and it was really exciting, and I got some samples in my um, bag that I thought I would show you. So we got three from Rustic Essentials. And I'm very excited to try these. I've never tried anything from this company. So this one is Pipe Smoke. Little Black Dress. And Forbidden Fruit. Now Forbidden Fruit smells very fruity. Oh, it's really good. It kind of reminds me of a cherry... Um, it's got cherry in it, but there's definitely other tropical fruits in there. Now, pipe smoke, to me, is a little bit more masculine, but it has a very um, sort of powdery undertone. So I think it could probably go both ways. It doesn't necessarily have to be masculine. But I'm interested to see how this one does in soap. And then Little Black Dress. This is a more perfumey fragrance reminds me of um, I don't know exactly what it reminds me of but it's really good I think this one would be very popular in a soap so I'm excited to try those then from Daystar Candle and Soap Supply Company got black velvet coffee and this is a dupe of black Vetiver Cafe by Joe Malone. I went on their website and they have a lot, a lot of dupes of name, of recognizable names, perfumes and stuff. So that was exciting. So if you're looking for a dupe of something specific, that might be a place to go. Now this, to be honest, I don't like personally. It is very powdery and it has a lot of musk in it and uh, it's not something I would personally choose but hey that's okay then I got several from Brambleberry and I think this may be their new packaging I know this is what it looked like before so I think this is maybe the new packaging this is the old one uh, and this one's Comquat and I had heard about this Oh, and it is so good. Oh my goodness. Definitely well worth the wait to smell that one. So I wish I had more. I may just end up ordering some more of that. But it's uh, citrusy and bright and really, really nice. This one is called Blooms and Berries. And I like the new packaging, the new listing. It just has more information on it. You know, it tells... If it has vanilla in it, um, and some of some more tips and tricks, I guess you would say. So this one, oh, this one is delicious. It is. We got the floral and the berry combined, and it's really really nice. This would be excellent in bath products like uh, a bath bomb and a lotion. I think that would be an excellent one for that. This one is Clover and Aloe. And it has green and white undertones. To me, smells have colors, and this one smells green and white. <laughs> uh, very fresh, uh, very light, but definitely one that I would personally really like. Then we have Blueberry Jam. This one is very interesting. I do pick up the blueberry, but uh, it doesn't smell like a blueberry. It does smell more like a jam. It's got a sweet undertones. I'd be interested to see how this one performs in soap. So the notes say it behaves well in cold process and no discoloration. So that's really cool. That has that information even on the sample bottle. So that's very nice. And then we have Sunflower. This one is 
definitely flowery. I can't honestly say that it makes me think of sunflowers. It is not a light scent. It's a little heavier. Definitely floral. I think this one would go well in a, um, a soap. I think this would probably go really well combined with another fragrance, like something more citrusy to brighten it up. But hey, we'll see. Maybe I can play around with that one. And then the other thing I got was from Nature's Garden. And this is grapefruit red, I mean ruby red. And oh my gosh, I mean first of all, look at the size of this. They gave us four ounces. I mean. That's enough to do a lot with. So I was very, very, very impressed with the size of the sample that they gave us. And then I opened it up and smelled it. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely delicious. My mother is particularly fond of grapefruit scents. And so when I told her I got this sample, she was over the moon because she wants me to make her a uh, lotion, a hand lotion with this. So I'm very excited to try this one out and make some lotions with it and then just play around. I thought maybe I would mix some of these different samples together and see what we come up with. So that was the fragrance oil haul that I got at seminar and I am very excited to give it all a try. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.